Hi everyone, here we are looking at my March study hours total for French. We'll start off by looking at the calendar picture for the month of March. And um, just a note on why this video is late. I just didn't have time with the Easter weekend. So we can see there, I did a grand total of 41 hours and 48 minutes French in the month of March. I found this a frustrating month because although I had the intent to study, I wanted to, a lot of days I just couldn't, I didn't have the time and um, also had, um, I, I got really, really tired in, uh, I'd say the first half of the month. So then I really needed a few days off to completely switch off and do other things. Um, but you know, while taking my days off, <laughs> I did, I did want to do uh, French, but I knew that I needed a, I just needed a, a break to sort of catch up with myself. Also, what was different about this month is um, I changed my approach my way of learning which I, I I do change around now and then but not as much as this month because um, whereas generally I'm just learning French by reading a lot and uh, reading the same things over and over this month I did um, I, pr I practically didn't read anything new I just went over um, I, I went over things that were written in my notebooks and I would say I did some kind of memorization, which is just keep looking at it, keep looking at what I've written. So I'm rereading things that I've already written. And in addition to that, I did some transcription using my books that I've already read. So if I found that sentence might be useful for me, I wrote that down. So this month, um, I'd say out of all the months I've been learning French, this is one where I did the most writing and pretty much the only month where I did any reviewing. I think it I think it has been really helpful for me, um, but I'm not at the stage of witnessing the full effects of that. So I'm going to keep up the same approach in April um, in general um, by doing lots of reviewing. Okay, that's all I've got to say. Bye for now.